Oh, hello, this is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. I'd love to hear from you, and please write to me at walkwithtak at gmail.com of any question that you might have. When you send me an email, it's much easier for me to provide you a more thorough answer, and I will reply to your question promptly. My fast cooking system has four attributes. It is flavor chasing, advanced prepping, stir frying, and templates based cooking. The goal of the cooking system is to help you to make home cooking as part of your daily routine. Home cooking is never more important in this modern age because through home cooking, you will know exactly what you put into your body. Now, home cooking is also a lot of fun. In fact, home cooking is much easier and simpler if you can use a simple ingredient and have it used in different types of capacity. In this video, I want to introduce to you how to use uh, the simple vegetable, uh, which is very common, and that is uh, spinach. Uh, normally, we use spinach in our salad. But many viewers ask me, can I use spinach uh, in a stir-fry dish? And the answer is absolutely yes. And this is what I'm going to show you today. Uh, this is an egg dish. I'm starting with my uh, Cucina 14-inch stainless steel wok with two tablespoons of canola oil. Uh, I'm going to beat up about six eggs. And I'm going to season the eggs uh, with my basic seasoning mix. Uh, this seasoning mix is very effective in enhancing the flavor of the egg, particularly provide umami flavor to the egg. And uh, I have this basic seasoning mix now available on Amazon uh, due to a lot of people have asked me how to create this seasoning mix. I also have a video show you the different components of this seasoning mix. And uh, you can based on this video and find out what they are and you can make your own mix if that's what you like. Otherwise, you can just purchase it from Amazon. Uh, another ingredient I'm going to use this dish, I think it's a very interesting ingredient, is the oyster mushroom. Now this oyster mushroom, also known as the king oyster mushroom, uh, because it is very large in comparison to, to other type of mushroom. Uh, it is probably one of the most interesting mushroom because of its texture. It's a very firm texture, almost meat-like. Uh, you can slice them thinly and stir fry them with different type of uh, vegetables or with chicken or with shrimp. But in this case, after I slice them, I'm going to cut them up into small pieces so that it will fit better into the egg. Now, first of all, is that uh, all the ingredients I'm going to use in uh, making this uh, egg dish are already prepped in advance. And so all I have to do is to go into the refrigerator and to find what I need. Now, uh, it is important that you season this uh, stainless steel wok because it has a natural surface. And I use my spot seasoning method, uh, which you can take a look at in this video. It's very effective. It only takes about 15 seconds uh, to create a non-stick cook surface. Okay, now I am ready to cook. Uh, I add the egg to the wok, and the oil is uh, very hot because it's right at the smoking point. As you can see, uh, the egg start to bubble almost immediately after I add it to the wok. This is a very good sign because it shows that the egg do not stick to the surface of the wok. Next, I add the king oyster mushroom that I have cut in thin slices. Uh, and then I use the wok spatula uh, to gently mix the contents in the wok. And this is followed by adding some frozen vegetables. Uh, you notice that I'm very careful in terms of how much uh, ingredients that I add to the wok uh, because the ratio is very important. And of course, you can vary the ratio and this will give you different culinary experience. Next is followed by uh, some cherry sliced to cherry tomatoes that has been thinly sliced. Uh, again, uh, I only add a very small amount. And this is followed by the addition of spinach. As you can tell, uh, I don't need to have a lot of spinach to create the kind of flavor that I want. Now, what I'm doing is that often known as a sequential stir frying. That is, uh, you add different ingredients in such a sequence that the ingredients that need to cook longer will be added in the beginning, and the ingredients that need to cook less will be added toward the end. Both the tomatoes and the spinach do not need to cook very much at all uh, in order to maintain their flavor and their texture. Now, this video is in real time. As you can see, everything cooked very quickly. And I call this a scramblet because it's a combination between scrambled eggs and omelet. You scramble it lightly, and then you fold the ingredients um, by folding the egg over the ingredients, create almost like an omelet-like texture. 
Uh, this dish is extremely uh, effective and uh, as you can see, uh, what I'm showing you is a basic scrambled template. In here, I use the king oyster mushroom, tomatoes, and spinach. Uh, you can imagine you can easily substitute these ingredients with others to create a different type of a scrambled. And the end result is that you can uh, make yourself many different kinds of scrambled. Uh, this dish is simple and it is extremely versatile. Uh, you can eat it with almost any type of carbohydrate. You can eat it with a piece of bread, or you can eat it with uh, rice or noodles, or you can even wrap it in a uh, tortilla shell. So uh, the end result is that it gives you a lot of flexibility. And by adding the spinach, it gives the scrambled a really a fresh taste. Okay, next I'm going to season the dish in the way what I'm going to use it for. I'm going to eat it with rice. So I'm first of all, I'm going to add a little bit of uh, soy sauce. Uh, you can add as much as little that you like um, to uh, give the saltiness uh, to the egg. So it can go over rice, give a nice flavor. And then I'm going to enhance the umami flavor of this dish by adding a small amount of oyster sauce. Again, this seasoning is more of like a Chinese Cantonese seasoning but you can do it many different other ways. So give it a try, and I think you will enjoy this. Uh, I post a video each day uh, to help you to make home cooking as part of your daily routine so that uh, you will make home cooking fun, creative, practical, and uh, effective. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about this cooking system, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. So keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.